Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Regan, and it's been a while since I've ever done a video like this. Like a long, long time. Where I just sit and talk to you guys about stuff that's going on on the channel, um, Battlefront 2. Because obviously there's been a whole lot of stuff going on in terms of how popular Battlefront 2 is, but not a lot going on in terms of content for the game. Because obviously, you know, a while ago EA and DICE decided to shut down support for the game, so there's no longer any updates to the game, which does suck, we all know it does, everyone wants Battlefront to succeed, but unfortunately that's that's just not the case anymore, you know? Battlefront is unfortunately finished, or I should say Battlefront 2 is unfortunately finished. <laughs> but like, imagine EA Star Wars coming up with a post for Twitter saying more than 19 million players got Star Wars Battlefront 2 from the Epic Game Store promo. Thank you so much for your, uh, your, your continued support, even after our final content drop. We'll watch your careers with great interest and may the force be with you troopers. Like, how much does that suck? <laughs> 19 million plays, absolutely astounding, you know? Star Wars Battlefront 2 was never a bad game. There was a lot of shitty aspects with it when it launched, which gave it the bad persona that it had. But the game itself was not bad. They spent the rest of its lifetime working to make it better, and Dennis Branville and the rest of the team did a fantastic job on doing that, which has, like, there's no there's no way that 90 million players pick up a bad game, let's be honest, guys. If a game goes free, nobody's going to give a shit about it if it's bad. If a game is brilliant, and 90 million people pick it up on one platform alone, you know that game was gold, and that game was fantastic. EA did kind of cement the um, its fate a little bit at the start there, but it did have a comeback, so... That's what we want from Battlefront games, you know? And with Battlefront 3 coming up, because let's be honest, we know that's coming. As much as people want to be like, oh, EA haven't announced it yet. It, it's coming. EA aren't stupid. They still have games being, you know, made in the background secretly. They tried to hide it. There's a few leaks and rumors, and obviously half of them are fake with no sources on Reddit, so don't always believe them. And all the other clickbaity YouTubers that like to show that stuff. But um, we all know that EA's work on Battlefront 3, they wouldn't lose out on money. EA love money too much to not make another Battlefront game. Um, but the future of Star Wars games is very interesting, you know? We have Lucasfilm Games announcing all their different titles. Even an Indiana Jones game with Bethesda. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that's a thing. But then we have the big one as well, Ubisoft Massive, working on a Star Wars MMO type game, which is going to be insane. If, for those who don't know, Ubisoft Massive also works on The Division. They're currently working on a James Avatar, James Cameron's Avatar game as well. And now we're getting a Star Wars game from the same company, which is just going to be insane. Now, I've got some big hope for that game in the future, guys. Honestly, we'll be covering it on the channel eventually when it comes out. But yeah, with Battlefront 2 being dead, I think it's time on my channel is almost up. Uh, you know, I like to make um, a lot of searchable content for you guys for stuff you want to see, like all the build videos. You guys have made that build video explode. The very first one I did, the um, Assault Trooper class, that video has gone absolutely nuts. You know, I never expected it to be as popular, but you guys seem to really enjoy the short videos. So that's something that um, is really nice. And I'll be doing more of that in the future for different games moving forward. Because obviously, like say, for me, I feel like Battlefront 2's lifetime on YouTube is a bit stale now and a bit gone. The times are gone, you know? Um, obviously, except for mods, mods will always keep a game going for quite a while. The modding community is fantastic, but there's only so much mods can do, you know? There's never going to be that big hype like the 19 million players, the game went free to play, but <clears throat> there's no more updates. So those 19 million players are going to start dropping down. You can even see this on Google Trends if you actually have a look at Battlefront 2. It's shot right up with those 19 million players coming into the game, and it's just dropped fast because... There's nothing keeping them in the game. EA, I reckon, made the game free to test how good a free-to-play Star Wars game would be, which is what leads on to Battlefront 3, right? And the this theory that I've got. Battlefront 3 is going to be free-to-play. You're going to have to unlock characters when you first get the game, because, you know, it's going to be like Apex Legends. Take Apex Legends, for example, actually. EA own Apex Legends. They know how free-to-play games are wanted by a lot of people. They can see the player numbers on Apex Legends and every update they get, I'm sure they get more and more and more players. Because Apex Legends is again on that explosive trend again because they just released a new character, they have updates, and the game's just becoming more popular once again. Everyone I know is playing Apex for some strange reason again because of this new update. Even the ones that said I'm never touching Apex again, they're busy playing it too. And, you know, imagine a Star Wars game like Battlefront, you know, casual shooter game, that goes free to play, 
And if they do things right, they can monetize it right. They can have um, their crystals, which was the way they tried to do in Battlefront 2, where you would have to buy skins with them. Um, but obviously they had the loot boxes, which were absolute crap, because they had the star cards hidden in them instead of normal level system for some strange odd reason. Then they had characters also being tied to the loot boxes, where it took 80 hours for someone to unlock Darth Vader. Now imagine if all the characters you still had to unlock at the start of the game, 80 hours to unlock one. That's ridiculous. Now, if your game goes free to play, like Battlefront 3, like I'm hoping Battlefront 3 will be free to play with this type of setup because it will be fantastic for the play base. The numbers will always be high. Continuous updates coming into the game that they can monetize. The game's going to have a longer lifespan than Battlefront 2 ever did. They need to do it right, though. 80 hours for a character is, I, I almost swore that, is just ridiculous. You can't have a game take someone 80 hours to unlock one character when there's another 10 to unlock. 800 hours for 10 characters? No, that's that's not cool, right? That's not good time commitment for players at all. That's just something we can't have for Battlefront 3 either. If it goes free to play, it needs to be a reasonable amount of time play needs to put into the game to unlock these characters. They are casual players. It's a casual shooter as well. There's no ranked mode in Battlefront. It's The, the lobbies are too big to have a ranked mode. Um, it works for Apex somehow, but you know it won't work for a game where there's 32 versus 32. Or in Battlefield's case, 63 versus 63 or whatever the flipping numbers are. I know they're above 60 though for Battlefield. But you can't have a ranked mode like that. Just There's too many variables and you just can't see who's actually good in those terms. Because most of these games like Battlefront and Battlefield, you've always got the person in the vehicle at the back of the map or in the plane flying above you that kills everyone and he's always got the highest score. It, it's just there's too many balancing issues I think for a game like this to have ranked. But like I say, if the game goes free to play, player investment with time needs to be rewarded correctly not 80 hours for one character because that's just everyone's just wasting their time at that point and they'll just go to another game because they're bored of doing the same shit trying to unlock one character but yeah um i just want to see what you guys think about battlefront 3 is free to play the way to go personally i think it is um 19 million players picked up battlefront 2 when it was free that's insane now imagine what that would be like on consoles too because obviously they don't have the they didn't go free at the same time it's had like random bursts of being free in their lifetime but 19 million players on Epic alone. On Epic. Most people hate Epic. Or at least they don't have the Epic launcher. So a lot of people call these kids the Fortnite kids, don't they? But it's crazy. Um, imagine if it went free to play on Steam or Xbox Store. Can't, like, imagine if they just released it. Free to play for the rest of its lifespan. Like this went free to play for a week. And 19 million people picked it up. Battlefront 3 is going to have a great future if it's free to play. And I, I honestly do believe that. But anyway, guys, I just want to see what you guys think. Um, so let me know in the comments. Is Battlefront free the future? Should it be free to play? Should it not? Obviously, with the free to play aspects coming in, there'd be quite a few hackers. So EA would have to up their game on anti-cheat. But hey, they've managed to do it for Apex. I, I imagine I've never seen anyone complaining about all the cheaters in Apex like they do for Call of Duty Warzone. So, um, so yeah, I kind of have a bit of faith in EA and DICE to... Make Battlefront 3 the game that we deserve, you know? But yeah, guys. Um, also, if you like this type of video where I just sit here talking to you guys about things that are going on with the game and my thoughts, then let me know in the comments. This, like I said, this is a bit of a weird one for me because I haven't done these in ages. But, um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for the support on all the videos as well. Um, if you want any more Battlefront 2 videos, check out the playlist in the description because that's where you'll find them. And yeah, I love you guys all. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the support on the channel so far. And um, hopefully the, the future of the channel will be a bright one. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.